Hi everybody! Hi. So we're back again for another Japan Crate. This month's theme is the five year anniversary of Japan Crate. Yay. So we have a nice five black years. and gold box. Mm. Oh. Oh. Look at the majesty. Uh, it is the bit. peach sour paper candy. A popular candy described as paper oh for its special thin texture. The strip packs the oh. sweetness of a peach with a sour twist. It's like one of those, uh... I'm a little gun shy when it comes to those... Airheady rope type things. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. It smells... So oh, oh, it smells so good. That smells really good. It tastes just like a peach ring. It does. Exactly like a peach ring. That is sour cider gummy. These soda gummies are coated in sweet and sour flavor. Chew on those cider gummies when you need a refreshing pick me up. It's like a really flat, like, full of candy. <laughs> nice sound effect. Yeah. Okay. I can't quite place what it smells like. This is really good. The mm -hmm. cider candy. There's a lot of gummies so far. I'm a huge fan of gummies. Mm hmm. So it's worked really well. Oh, this one's cute. It has a little bear on it. That is the Kaguma gummy. These gummy bears are neither too hard nor too soft. Oh. They're just right. Chew on these yummy gummy shaped bears in an assortment of colors and flavors. This is a gummy bear. It looks like a typical gummy bear. It smells like a typical gummy bear. The one I had was mm. definitely honey flavored. Mine kind of tastes like green tea. The orange one is definitely orange. It's so good. I like it. This one tasted like honey to me. Yeah, it tastes like a lemon honey cough drop. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. I definitely like those a lot better than our gummy bears. Like, I actually actively don't like gummy bears. See, I love gummy bears. My two favorite ones are the red ones and the white ones. Hi, Raz. Do you want to join us on stream? Box lips. Blocking most of the <laughs> Here's Raz, everybody. <laughs> we got a special he, guest. Yes, Raz is joining us because he wants some affection. Those are... Oh, oh God. Mitsukena candy. Traditional Japanese sweet with a similar taste to rock candy. These look like these are just tattoos. But see, those are Metamol Seal, food and fun, all in one. What? Each pack comes with lots of mini Ramun candies and surprise tattoos. What? Oh, it says death. <laughs> yes. Ow. Well, these Rises are loved us. Candies? They're like That's little what it says. Balls. They look like babies. I actually really like these tattoos. Yeah, those are I mean, kind of cute. I could get these lip tattoos by my vampire bite. <laughs> <laughs> so we're eating BBs. Again. Again. They really like to do the BB thing. They do. Choking hazard. So tasty though. No, we were really good. Mm. Oh, it was like a strawberry wild moon. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. That one actually had like a flavor to it. What is this? That? It's got like some weird birds on it. Oh, that is the Choco Ball High Chew. Oh, it's and a high chew? Vice versa. These limited collaboration high chews are the flavored as the original Choco Ball flavors. Choco Ball, rather, not Choco Ball. <laughs> this pack <laughs> includes this a mix fantasy. of chocolate caramel and strawberry chocolate high chew. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think we've had like chocolate flavored high chews. No, Most of the high chews we get are um fruity. One of each. Okay. Let's see. I'm Put gonna the eat the, the bag. I'm gonna eat the brown one first. All right. Or, oh, high chew. How I love the. I would assume that the Ooh. chocolate high chews are kind of like caramels, I guess. It kind of looks like a tootsie roll. Ooh, it smells really good. Very mocha y. It's very much like a tootsie roll. Mhm. Mm okay. That's not bad. Um. I don't hate it, but it kind of has like that coffee. A little bit. Flavor. Yeah. And then it's chocolate and strawberry. It's actually pink on the outside and brown in the middle. That's so cool. Looking. This also feels like it's it's kind of interesting because that it smells really strawberry. The pink kind of feels like a taffy. Yeah. So it's kind of like a taffy on the outside, but tootsie roll on the inside. Mm. It tastes like strawberry ice cream and chocolate ice cream when they melt together. I really <laughs> like the strawberry. Mm. Not crazy about the two flavors mixed, but that's just me. I'm like that. I like it. Not bad at all. But again, I don't think I've ever had like a bad high chew. Yeah, no, I very no. High chew is just delicious. That little is penguins. Cool cider mochi. Use the stick to pick up these bite-sized soda-flavored mochi. 
Each piece is in a cool blue flavor and color. Give you a special <laughs> stick, and it's actually just a toothpick. It's just a toothpick. It's a toothpick. <laughs> Gonna be civilized. Pinky's out, because we're fancy AF. It feels like it has the texture of a high chew. I'm trying to like have a couple to get the flavor. Kind yeah, of. I don't taste it. Blueberry? Any. It kind of tastes like the blueberry jelly belly. That is grape high chew chocoball. Oh. Chocoball and high chew are two of the most famous tasty Japanese candy. This special corroboration provides a taste of both worlds. A delicious high chew grape flavored chocoball. Oh, yeah. So I think I remember reading something about this. The uh, way they picked what was going into this crate mm -hmm. was like the most popular. So, yeah. It smells better than it tastes. I mean, I like grape and I like chocolate. I'm not a fan of chocolate and grape. I like the texture of it. Yeah, the texture is good because it has a very, very, very thin outer shell. It doesn't break like an M&M as much as you kind of, it gives you a little resistance and it kind of plates and it melts. That is red Gavorichu. Super juicy. Chewy Stick is a refreshing Fuji apple, apple flavor. Fuji apples were developed in Aomori, Japan, and are known for their crisp and sweet flavor. Oh, it's like a taffy. Oh, yeah. It looks like it's a... Someone took an airhead, kind of rolled it up and... Ah. Thank you much. Mmm. Oh, wow. It tastes just like biting into an apple. Mm. Yeah, that flavor is spot on. That was so good. Okay. What is this? Looks like... Roll cake buttercream. Roll cake is a popular dessert in Japan. This fluffy roll cake is filled with fragrant and sweet buttercream. Ooh, you can it, smell it. I wish you guys can smell this. Yeah, it smells, it smells really delicious. Nice. The cake, the cake texture is kind of like the um the dorayaki. Mmm, that is really tasty. It's like they took a nice thin pancake mm -hmm. and rolled it with buttercream. It's super fluffy. It's like a pound. It tastes like a pound cake. It does. This. Here's our uni potato chips. Japan loves sea urchin. It's actually the largest consumer of sea urchin or uni. Why? It's known for being a delicacy with a strong flavor. Now is your chance to try this luxurious and very rare flavor of potato chip. Hi. It smells awful. This is I, terrible. This is all the I bad. am on the fence. With that smell? Mm. Kinda smells like seafood and uh, why do they why? Just stop. Stop. Grow. <laughs> That's actually not bad. This is awful. Once the once you once the smell goes away, you don't smell the seafood. It just kinda tastes like a potato. I'm gonna have this because I don't want to taste it anymore. That I'm not sure if I'm gonna like. That is so Pepsi J Cola Pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapple flavor Pepsi. Tropical Pepsi. This limited flavor of J Cola has splashes of pineapple flavor. A fruit, fun and fruity blend on a classic Pepsi taste. Now the reason why I don't think I'm gonna like this is because I tried, ugh, I tried the tropical Mountain Dew that they had at Taco Bell and it was wretched. And this kind of smells like it's going down that route. See, I just don't like pineapple. So this could go either way for See, me. See, I love pineapple, but you kind of get the hint of pineapple, and but then it goes not away. too much. It's primarily Pepsi. Yeah. It's like slightly sweeter, tartar Pepsi. Yeah, definitely not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I don't think I would buy it though. Although I don't really like Pepsi or I'm more of a Coke. Coke. I'm more of a Coke kind of person when it comes to my sodas, but that actually was those mango butter. Yes. Interesting. Eel Aloha mango and butter potato chips. These crispy chips are a bright mixture of flavors. These, this limited flavor is a sweet and balanced Ooh. blend of mango and butter. They were made for snacking and relaxing in mind, so that's exactly what you should do. I like mango and I like butter. They I smell really good. I wouldn't have thought to stick the two together. Although I felt that way about the mint and peach, and that came out really well. That did come out really well. I like. I'm not a fan. Well, what she has there is mochi, 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 choco mint. Mochi, mochi. These delicious <laughs> treats okay, okay. mix the luxurious taste of truffle chocolate with the Japanese taste of mochi. These Ooh. delectable and rich mini bites are filled with cool chocolate mint cream with a soft mochi outside. <laughs> I'm about to eat a bell end, folks. 
Ooh, they smell so yummy. Mm. These probably taste really good cold too. But these mochi don't feel like they're like the choking hazard mochi no. that they usually they make sure you chew. It was really, really good. Mm -hmm. Again, like food scientists in Japan, man, you guys are doing it right. It tastes just like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Uh -huh. Next thing is these special Kit Kats. Those are frozen strawberry cheesecake Kit Kats. Freezing Kit Kats, these special edition Kit Kats are a strawberry cheesecake flavor bent blended with white chocolate. It is encouraged to freeze them so they taste like a strawberry cheesecake ice cream bar. The cute little. So these ones are going to be room temp, and then later we'll try the frozen ones to see how the taste may differ. Now, I'm not usually a fan of the white chocolate in Kit Kats, so we'll see how these are. I'm not a fan of strawberry cheesecake, but I do really like these. I really don't. It's the same problem I have with most white chocolate. It's just too sweet for me. And the sweet strawberry on top of it. But I'm not really getting the cheesecake. To me, these taste like those wafers with the cream, but like super sweet. So now we're moving on to the gums. Yep, that First. is Pokemon Apple Gum. Ooh. Pikachu is here for when you need a shock of juicy green apple flavor. Two pieces of tasty apple gum all wrapped up with our favorite yellow buddy on it. Again with that apple, mm -hmm. spot on. It doesn't really feel like gum though, it feels like it's like disintegrating in my mouth. Like it's just regular candy. See, like, again, their gum is different than ours. Ours is very thick and like rubbery. This one is very not. This is very light, very smooth. And I just swallowed it. Next one. It's so cute. That one is electric gum. Ooh. Power up with this gum. Power it's up. Energy drink flavor will give your oh mouth God. a shock and a tingle. Try it for yourself if you. My tongue is tingling. It's weird. It's like I just drank. It's weird, like my mouth is tingling and I can't, I can't Oh it's, yeah, what the hell? I'm it's, starting to really feel it now. It's almost like it's hot. Yeah, but you don't but get it's the not spice. Hot. You just get the like pinching yep. on your tongue like yeah. here, try one. Uh, yeah, you have to try this. You have it's to. so hard to explain. Yeah. It's almost like there's pepper in it. Right? Like what is it doing? What are you? <laughs> oh you know what? No, what? There might be pepper in it. <laughs> it's a little bottle with a pee on it. Did it not say anything? No, it says nothing about it. It says it'll give your tongue a shock and a tingle. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Where is that? Oh. oh, that's the Super Harry Yinko ice gum. This is gonna give you a cool ice sensation. I don't know what it is with these gums and giving me a sensation. Um, they gave us Benoit balls. They look like the little job breakers. They look like moth balls. <laughs> like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> this one's really nice too. It's very juicy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a minty berry. They gave us this cute little scratch off card. Mm. It says, This card is a small thank you for being part of the Japan Crate family and celebrating five years of the best Japanese candy with us. Scratch below to reveal your prize. What will you find? Oh! Congratulations, you've won a $3 gift card to Savoy Mart. So now we got the frozen ones. But I like this any better cold than I did not cold. So I don't like it. I do prefer a cold than room temp. All right, well, that concludes this crate. Yep. For the most part, I liked everything except those nasty sea urchin things. I like the sea urchin thing. But, um, I want to say probably my favorite thing was the mochi. The mochi was amazing. The mint with the chocolate, like, gooey outside. Uh, we got to see if we can so find good. something like that neat. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and head over to RNG's channel. Watch us play some games. Yes! Also, check out their Patreon. Patreon! Really could use the help. Yes. The more you help us, the more we can give you fun things and we have some awesome merch ideas we would really like to get moving. Yes. Alright, well, this has been fun. As always. Bye! Bye!